in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I must take out time to appreciate um, the very unusual overflows that we have tonight. It's very strange. Hallelujah. And for me, when I saw that it wasn't, it wasn't just something to rejoice as it were, but it became a burden to me. People never leave their homes and we made an extra arrangement for four overflows but right now we are making arrangement i don't even know if the fifth one will be enough you see brothers and sisters let me tell you something with the holy spirit don't ever ignore him i want to talk a little about him we have ignored the holy spirit to our shame and to our peril We have been indoctrinated by a civilization that makes the holy spirit look like an inconvenience to us but it is mighty when god comes to work with you your life becomes a wonder even to yourself hallelujah please i want you whilst you are seated open your heart and cry to god say god don't let me go back the way i came please pray everywhere any of the overflows go ahead and pray don't let me go back the way i came please pray Father, I came tonight to take an anointing for my ministry. Let me not go back the same way. I came tonight to have the gifts of the Spirit activated. I came for my business. I came for my family. Lord, let me not go back the same. Oh, 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 oh. destiny the, the exalter of those who trust make sure you are praying to him mm. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Tonight is a very strange night. I've spent the night praying on these oils that you see. And I tell you the truth, what it will work in the lives of people will surprise them. I promised that I was going to take a few testimonies and I wasn't able to come as at the time, but I understand that there are a few very striking testimonies. Please let me have the, the details just... Okay, go ahead. Hallelujah. Um, this is Usman Augusta. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer John Oleku. Where is that? I hope they can hear outside. Please, if it's your name, ushers guide them very quickly so they can. 
Samaila Chindu, Grace Herman, you can put your hands together for them as they come, Gloria Jaja, and um, Fatima Abubaka Besson. Okay, the following, would you repeat it please one more time? Usman Augusta, Jennifer John, Oleku, Esther, Samaila Chindu, Grace Heman, Gloria Jaja, and Fatima Abubaka Besson. Are they here? Wherever you are, please very quickly make your way to the front. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. While we wait for them, I hope they are around. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples now. And he said, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. He says, And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth very very interesting it says you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come and he never said that power will make you a preacher he never said that power will make you a prophet he never said that power will make you an apostle he said that power that you receive will make you a witness a witness listen very carefully I'm teaching now are we together now a witness is not a prophet a witness is not an apostle a witness is not even a man of God a witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that Jesus did not lie are we together when it talks of witness that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity that's okay we can continue with what we're doing a witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement is a defender are we together now it's a legal terminology like you go to the the court of law and you are asked do you have a witness at the point where whatever action was taken was there an individual who can attest for you now remember we were not there when jesus died but the bible says there is something that the holy ghost can bring to our lives are we together now and it says that anointing that power can make us witnesses validators validators of the claims of jesus listen without a system for validating the claims of jesus there is no reason to be a christian are we together now yes it matters that the claims of jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled it matters that men know that this jesus that we seek and this jesus that we serve listen carefully is not just a mirage he's not a doctrine He's not just theology that he's alive and lives forevermore. And there is the power that makes us validators. Are we together now? He says we shall receive the power. I hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure. Please make sure you are not. Are we together now? If we just have two of them, that's okay. They can just, it's just a token um, of the testimony so that I can fulfill whatever it is. Can we pause for a moment and, and, and then let's hear their testimony. Come, my dear. Just tell us quickly. I don't have your name here. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely. The lump. How long? Yes. Four to five years you check this morning yes sir and it's gone completely hallelujah give jesus praise we do not take for granted you know you people are so used to miracles in this place when something happens you just laugh and um never get familiar with the presence of god it says that um how did he put it now I, i'm trying to remember a scripture that the bible put um Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? Okay, I'll just turn there. 
I just wanted to encourage us with that scripture. One moment, my dear, and I'll pray for you. Philemon chapter 1. And verse 6. That the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what? Acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. So the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing God does. Lord, I had a headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now. The Bible says it can boost your faith. The communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing. There was a lump on my breast and now I've checked and it's not there. While I'm trusting God to give another miracle, I do not ignore what he has done. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus, may the Lord perfect you. Never, never returns again in Jesus' name. Come, my dear. Let's give Jesus praise for her. Go ahead, your name and your testimony. Praise God. My name is Gloria Farga. Yesterday you prayed about those that can't hear with their right ear. After the prayer, I was able to hear. Couldn't hear with your right ear? You're sure? How long? 20 years now. Um... How old are you now? Do you mind? <laughs> Hallelujah. Interesting. And, and for that long, for 20 years, what happened? Just that pin in me. And, and that was it. And right now you can hear with it. Which of them? It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. The same way the Lord opened your ears, may every part of your destiny be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we we're discussing Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Now, while Jesus was on earth, please follow me carefully. While Jesus was on earth, the Bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life. He lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt Jesus. The scribes and the Pharisees, they were represented at every crusade. Yet, with what they saw, they still doubted Jesus. Without the presence of the Holy Spirit, there is no genuine conviction. That's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles, carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves. They are celebrators of the finger of God, but they are never benefactors of that grace. So Jesus began to teach us that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to believers. He has a ministry to unbelievers. And Jesus said that he will reprove the world, the fallen system of men, of sin, of righteousness, of judgment. And then to the believers, he will guide them in all truth. He will do this and that. The Bible began to tell us all the things that Jesus would do. Now, let me tell you this. One of the things that I have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of Christ and his ministry while he walked on earth. 
are we together now and so most people still wait on jesus to do what he has left the holy spirit to do for us you have to listen to what i'm teaching you now are we together now jesus said it is expedient advantageous for you that i go why so that the comforter the helper the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man the helper will come the helper will come that means jesus was saying come jesus was saying he that told i represent the presence and the ministry of the holy spirit to you but shortly i'm going to go away but i will not leave you comfortless is that true someone else will come to hold your hands and continue is the greek word alos paracletos the word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function he says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles are we together most people jesus help me jesus save me i know that it looks emotional but jesus has no business helping you and saving you today he has already done that he's seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the saints that's the limit of his ministry now the personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice his plan is the holy spirit are we together now yes you pray to the father agreed you pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the holy spirit it's not that they don't believe in him they know he is somewhere one of the godhead somewhere and he's on earth if you are interested if you want power go to him and since i'm not a preacher i know he's just there if that is your understanding about the holy spirit you will never become victorious weak people feeble people but the holy spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs turned their lives into wonders they shook their generation the bible says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak look at these ordinary women and in our generation we talk of women like catherine kuhlman people like william um, um, um what's his name seymour and all of these great ordinary people born like any other entity but when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him look what he did with their lives the holy spirit can change anybody's life my life is a testimony don't trivialize the holy spirit he will make a wonder out of your life if you're with me say amen, amen. we have ignored the ministry of the holy spirit pastors have ignored the ministry of the holy spirit i wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the holy spirit there's no ministry without him what are you teaching that's the reason why we have too much talk with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of God keep proposing do you know what how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what God can do and then they never come into that experience there is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness the waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end and you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression are we together the holy spirit takes ordinary people 
and turns them into wonders the holy spirit is not for men of god please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of jesus the holy spirit is not for men of god the holy spirit is for all believers he is a real person he can be known he can be related with it's just that we have not been taught we've not been taught the usefulness of his person the holy spirit today represents the unlimited presence of jesus he represents the power of god he's the manifestation of the glory of god the holy spirit is so powerful he turned jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman what can he not turn in Genesis chapter 1 when you read the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then when you read verse 2 the Bible says now the earth was dark and formless and all of that just like the lives of several people dark void formless scattered families scattered into pieces and the Bible says he's the creative force that began to hover around and then God spoke let there be and there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sittest thou idle they say no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me an extension of the ministry of jesus when the tribute remember jimmy's powerful teaching when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life it was jesus that instructed peter go to the fish and now you run to the holy spirit spirit of god my finances there are bills to pay i don't know what to do i come to you an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together yes everything literally that jesus was to the disciples to the then civilization of man is who the holy spirit is to us today it's who the holy spirit is to us today jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life this is jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent jesus because he is not there physically you go to the holy spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting i'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the holy spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but i'm introducing the person of the holy spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek god as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the holy spirit facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. 
how could you do ministry without the Holy Spirit? What are you preaching? Sister, how could you dare get married without the Holy Spirit? What do you want to do in that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother, why do you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go, two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing, but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry, you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15, Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you, do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness you are brooding over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you see listen listen brothers and sisters let me tell you something we live in a society where nobody believes in you don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me they deserve to not believe in you but you ignore them and walk with the holy spirit give him time and watch the wonder he will produce he met a young virgin called mary and said mary the angel came on his behalf just believe and watch what will happen that you can be pregnant without a man that it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere can anything good come out of nazareth and the holy spirit says hold my hand and he said lord i can't even talk like moses don't worry hold my hands and he turns you into a sign and a wonder and people say is this not the lady we used to know beauty and glory that you in a little one room somewhere you are still struggling to raise 7,000 and pay. But you bring the Holy Spirit. I don't have a big house, but I invite you into my room. I tell you, his presence will squeeze you out of that room. And take you where it looks like him. That's the Holy Spirit for you. He's the lifter of men. This thing is not magic. It's not just prophecy. I'm telling you this. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life, listen twice. Close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration. I know this about him. He's brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark Lord you are proving over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark I remember in 2004 standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. 
I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry. I don't think I'm as intelligent as people require for ministry. So I ran to him, cover my shame, cover my shame. I may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire. I didn't have the privilege that society demands, but cover my shame. Lord, I admit that I'm weak. And the Holy Spirit said, hold my hand, let's go. Let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring. And they were saying, there's no food and there's no water. And then I said, who is the cause? And all of them were pointing to me and said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water. And I said, Kai, I have to go out and rescue this generation. But I was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me. All of a sudden, I took a bold step. As soon as I opened the door, I saw a giant man waiting. And he said, hold my hands, let's go. And that's how we started jumping building after building. I remember one time, I, he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling, waiting for me to come. And I said, if the secret is holding your hands, then may my hand remain with you forever. When that was happening, you were not there. But you were in the loins of prophecy. Please, I, I, I don't know how to beg you. Don't ignore what the Holy Spirit can do in your life. This power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying, lay hands on me. God is not a fool. Walk with him and watch him surprise you. Walk with him. I remember those nights when I would just find a corner and just be praying individually. You know, when I see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known, appetite to be seen, I just nod my head and I say, these gentlemen have missed it. Little power, they want to be recognized everywhere. They want to be known. Invite me for meeting. Call me apostle. Don't call me brother. It's nonsense. When his power smears you, even to the father's part, they said they shall call you. You won't call yourself. They shall call you ministers of our God. There will be an evidence of his hand upon your life. I remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman. Then phones just came out and they were making calls. Somebody whose spine was fractured. Remember that miracle? The guy's spine was broken into pieces completely. And all of a sudden, it was with that call. It was in the night. I was going to browse and then pray. And all of a sudden, I called that gentleman with a bracelet, confirmed here. And I think then it was um, the other place there. And all of a sudden, with just one single prayer, brothers and sisters, that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother. The only thing I had was Jesus. The next day, the way you gather for funeral, that's how they gathered in that house. The father had the boy was healed. They said, who did this? They said, it's one brother, Joshua, not apostle. All these showmanship people move around today. They don't pray. They don't fast. No mentorship. They don't listen to anybody. They just brag around saying, I saw a vision. I had a dream. I saw a ministry. Sit down and walk with him. Don't ignore him and look for fame. You would die young. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from dark you are brooding yeah. over all my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark i will never forget one day when i i spoke to the holy spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come 
when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are working leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing will kill you there are people when you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see god flogging an aspect you can come to church we teach about something else when you are done the holy spirit will say save that book we'll talk about it next year let's go back to what we are discussing and you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter allow him to work on you jesus jesus when he's done with you and he brings beauty and glory out of your life you will look at yourself and you will be afraid you say lord is this what you planned look at a poor village girl like me look at a poor village boy like me and he says that's exactly what i want to do to show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels to show that i can take the weak things oh god i'm a poor girl from kaduna state somewhere lord i'm an illiterate somewhere in the south he says don't worry hold my hands don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising work with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness, you are causing, causing light, light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today, they have not found it. Till today, they would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still struggling. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let Not just because you are a leader, not just because you are a worker, settle down with the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me and you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around, turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me know here that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the Holy Spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction. Divine direction, guidance. Guidance and direction. Guidance and direction. Let me show you something that I found while I was studying. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 22. Powerful scripture. Exodus chapter 23. Exodus 23 23 
he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring ye into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when you turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you 
the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture he says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle i saw you having an accident tomorrow i keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear god because the spirit of god will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is god i saw an accident but i am speaking by the power of god's word to stop it but i saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir 
I saw that your wife is a witch. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Continue. Let me hear. That's it. That's all. Just leave her. No, sir. That's not God. God does not speak like that. If you claim to be a man of God and your wife is a witch, you are foolish. You are not anointed. It means you are not even a man of God. Because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then. The validity of your anointing should be proven there. Let's be careful. We have ignored scripture. And so all kinds of words. You see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of God. The devil uses the faces of people. When God wants to lift you, he will now try to use a face of a man of God or somebody you respect. And come to you and press you. And you get up in ignorance. And say, ah, you do not know that Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. The Bible already gave you that information. I must balance this issue of the voice of God because Satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture. We are so passionate about the prophetic, which is important, but we must balance it. Especially for we who are men of God. There is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent. There are things I've seen about people I know that it's an attack from Satan. But I also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them. It will destroy their faith. So I withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them. Because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them. God sends the word. Your maturity guided how it was delivered. Say the voice of God. Please, let's be careful. I'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic. I'm not teaching you to be cynical. I'm not teaching you to see a man of God making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them. But please, let's be careful. Because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of Satan. We get up and we hate everybody. We hate every man of God, every woman of God because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell. He said, even if an angel brings another gospel, that means Satan can masquerade as an angel of light. It's one of the greatest reasons why men of God should pray before coming on the stage. I'm not praying when I come on stage for miracles to happen. With all humility, I will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is bleaking and you see people falling under the anointing. You will think it's charm. That's anointing. But the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy Go and read it when you go home. Joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to, I think, 21 or thereabout. Verse 1 to 21. 21 verses. Talks about how Jericho was destroyed. It was not just destroyed because God was powerful. It was destroyed through a divine strategy. Nowhere in the Bible was that strategy used again. Are we together? When you stand before the challenges as a ministry... I remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean, if you give free materials like your sermon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? 
you can get the general communication but you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy Lord in this ministry what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency say divine strategies that's the Holy Spirit for you so he leads you divine guidance and direction number two he gives you ideas strategies when you stand before any mountain let me give you an advice like the mountains that stand before you tonight don't be afraid there is a strategy god has given us the strategy for tonight is that true god decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody i will work wonders and strange results it's a strategy it's a strategy so he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery this oil was in my room all through the night soaking in the presence and the glory of god it's a strategy are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life hallelujah mm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye, Koinonia, but ye, Joshua Selman, shall receive power. Kabbalah Kotia. Power is the word dunamis. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And it shall make you witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius in chapter 10. And in verse 38 of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God, listen now, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. The word born on earth from Nazareth, but still had to be anointed to be efficient. Just quoting scripture does not bring you result. The word must be anointed to profit you. How God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but God anointed Jesus, the word. Until then, he was the son of the carpenter. But the anointing turned him to the Christ, a sent one. And the Bible says he went about doing good. For us to understand this, we must go to Genesis chapter 1 and see the things God say are good. He calls creation good. He calls 
plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all day that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargons he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired i've made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbalah kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people i found out the strength of satan is ignorance 
satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish habali somewhere they carry your name because a brother say wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a habalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them. And nothing shall by any means. Whatever I do against God has nothing to do with Satan. This is between me and God. The law is nothing shall by any means. So that you don't just say I was angry. I shouted at my wife today. Hey, hey, hey. Satan is coming. You are joking. My shouting at my wife is God. I owe an apology. As for you, the casting remains so. Regardless of the condition. Nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level i say ah luther continua victoria is scattered that's a cause never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way Haba, there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong 
those who claim satan is cheap and you just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encountered the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people I have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it. those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it God has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days. Favor is real. Favor can happen to anybody. Anybody. Strangers can arise to favor you. Yes, sir. You can have money and not have favor. That you have money does not mean you have favor. Favor is not about money coming. Favor is about men coming and whatever they come with. That includes money. But not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor 
favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times I've had these testimonies. Some of you listening know it's true. How many times angels appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave. They come as human beings. A service is going on. Or after a service, give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go. Angels don't just act as if they are foolish. They act in response to what the Holy Spirit tells them. The anointing is the director of how and why angels function. Understand this. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. The third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence. Please believe it. Influence is not something you bully people to get. Influence is not an issue of age. Influence is not even an issue of I've traveled abroad. There is an oil. There is a grace. He said, because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, even God, thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. There is an anointing that can give a man influence. There is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries. You are the last born, but God gives you a voice. Listen, you know, one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good. Come. No. There is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i don't play child's play all that one is is is, is complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you work with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to herbalist and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people 
pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah Jimmy is praying for me no i'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher i'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation i pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you hallelujah i travel all the time with the head of department of media and there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team media and then the protocol and he asked me a question i think it was early this year he said why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for lord ja or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you ba, it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies i have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir can come upon you number what now the fourth anointing that i believe and i trust god i trust god with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders strange signs and not just signs and wonders strange signs and wonders that through your own hands the things that god will do to you will begin to surprise you we just started the the public relations department this year and i remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone now these gentlemen love god and they are filled with the holy spirit but probably they did not it, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray there is an anointing that can come on a rod 
a rod, ordinary rod, and it will part the Red Sea. There is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says, Sister, I hear you attend Koinonia. I cannot meet Apostle, but I hear you attend Koinonia. And you say, what is it? He may be busy, but let me pray. He has prayed for us. That grace is working. Say, you? Say, let's just pray. And you say, Father, I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman. I hear that supernaturally, they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow. I agree with you. And by 1 a.m., the woman gets an alert, 500,000 dot. She will run to you and say, woman of God, what did you even say? She won't call you sister again. It takes a woman of God to produce that miracle. That you can go back home and say, I came back from an impartation in Koinonia. And your father said, what, does, what good does that do to us? Go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there. Number one, they have said your mother is dying. Number two, they have said your other sister, nothing is wrong. Number three, they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles. And you say, can you just give me a few hours? You carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of Jesus. They are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And all of a sudden, by the next day, that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears. Why are you doing this to my daughter? Behave yourself. It is because of this your heaven is not closing. And she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down. He said, let's, let's make this work. Let's make this marriage work. Are we together? Some of you will take this anointing back to your churches. And God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you. If you don't believe it, you can write the other four and leave this one. It's unto you according to your faith. I have told you, I am very vocal. I love the Lord by the grace of God and with all humility. My passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension, finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 for wealth this grace for wealth if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper i've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth there is transactional wealth wealth that comes by selling your value whether your education whether uh, an idea whatever it is that you take there is transformational wealth 
wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people but the third dimension is called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god by the finger of god all of them are important but brothers and sisters for some of us the emergencies in our lives require god showing up like the man of war that he is we are going to sing this song one more time and i want you to open your spirit truly because as this impartation happens as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray please i want you to be tired of where you are in life be tired of where your family is hey, hey. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, Tonight I, declare I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh, lift your voice and pray Take me high, 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 take me high
Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke, the yoke of delay, the yoke of retrogression, the yoke of begging as a generation, that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder. Check. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every curse, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment over my life, over my family, I declare that by the anointing, it is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. To principalities. To powers. To familiar spirits. That tonight. I have been called. Out of every tribe. Every covenant, every, covenant, every, enchantment, every enchantment, the sins of my fathers, of my fathers will, no will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant, every enchantment, please pray, pray. Pray, Hallelujah. We are praying in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every veil that has covered my glory. That has covered my glory. Every veil. Every veil that has hijacked my honor. That has hijacked my honor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I tear that veil to pieces. Lift your voice and pray. Cover your glory. It says, arise. Shine. Arise, shine, arise, shine, shine, Hallelujah. 
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By, by the, the anointing. anointing rise to destiny rise lift to your destiny. voice and begin to pray every aspect of my life rise to your place in destiny hear the word of the Lord Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access. Every access. That left my life. That left my life. By the anointing. By the anointing. I call you back. I call you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now, not tomorrow. Listen, now. If you don't have faith for it now, pray on something else. Are we together now? There are things in the Bible that say as they went. But there are things that the Bible says immediately. Listen, release your faith. I'm not a fool. Release your faith. Don't just sit down and say, can God make a wilderness overnight? Abba, we're talking of God here. If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No. You get pregnant at the instance of the word of God. You're sick in your body. There is a load of challenge on you. 
there are demons oppressing you there's all kinds of fire on your mountain it's time for you to have a testimony open your mouth in one minute and tell the lord the things that must live your life Every one of them. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one, overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of CGC fence. Overflow 3 is the main, um, the, 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 the space outside there. Overflow 4 is everything from the end of CGC's fence to wherever people are now. And then overflow 5 are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there. That's, that's the overflow. This is what we are going to do. Please make sure that this oil comes upon you. Even if you have a child, even if the child is sleeping, just touch the child. You don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it. It's not about idolatry. Just a touch. You can take one if you like. Put on your head. And Did you bring all those documents? We are going to pray. Just, just leave them. Don't worry. Leave them there. We are going to deal with them. Please be patient with me. And let God surprise you tonight. Are we together now? Except it is not God that has instituted what we are doing. Some of you, you will not even be able to share the testimonies. You will watch, it will be, people will ask you, which charm did you hold? What happened to you? There are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight. You will, you will stand like this and say, so this is how God works. This thing is not trial and error. God is a God of systems. Are we together now? So I want you to agree with me as we pray. Please, no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things. So be sensitive. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Um, what will happen is there are five, five. So we can do three, three. That means three bowls here. We'll fill it with the oil. We'll keep adding. And then three outside. Please protocol work so that we can arrange it. Please, I know that there are lots of people. The protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now 
just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest pick it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, 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 holy. We release the sound of the heavens, sound of creation, Yahweh. We cry holy, 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 unto Yeshua, to God we Yahweh, Yahweh.
New dimension, new levels, new dimension. Source fruit victory. Source fruit victory. Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God, defying all the laws of men, defying the expectations of men, rising by the spirit, rising by the anointing, rising by the spirit. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. You are breaking out at last by the spirit of the living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Send sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening ladders have been created preaching your expectation and your results outside pray those online use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit call for the things that be not 
Don't doubt what you are doing. This is how it works. Don't doubt what you are doing. Don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time. No, you are not. The Lord will so surprise you. Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I man. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you I just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is 
now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit I command it to bring jobs to you. I command it to bring opportunities to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For some of you, that which you are lifting is a photo of your loved ones representing the chaos in your family. In the name of Jesus may the lifter of men in a strange way lift every one of you out of any predicament out of every predicament for some of you what you are lifting is a medical report it's a threat letter from hell that you have cancer that you have hiv that you are barren your tubes are blocked that you are important as a man in the name of jesus i change that medical report now i change that medical report now there are some of you what you are lifting is your project not just your school project job project whatever project that your lifting is dependent upon in the name of jesus I command all those who will supervise you to favor you. There are some of you, what you are lifting is your house rent. What you are lifting is a building project that is not completed. And there is no hope of raising money anywhere. I decree and declare by the finger of God. I call forth helpers to your life now. I call forth helpers to your life now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your marriage certificate. That your marriage is at the verge of tearing into pieces. Because of what the devil wants to do. In the name of Jesus, I mend that home right now. I mend that home right now. For some of you, what you are lifting is a missing organ in your body. They say you don't have this, you don't have that. This is absent in your body. Whatever should be in your body and is not, in the name of Jesus, I call for a replacement now. For some of you, what you are lifting is your ATM card, your checkbook, or your phone as a sign. In the name of Jesus, I declare the kind of alerts that will begin to come in the name of the Lord God of heaven. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. Let it surprise you. I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has created an embargo that you will not rise beyond certain levels that souls will not be saved through your ministry 
that lives will not be changed in the name of jesus i release an anointing upon you now i release an anointing upon you now go and do exploits in the name of jesus anyone in business here i prophesy to you i don't care what your business has looked like between now and the next two months may your business flourish in a way that will surprise you i say it again between now 60 days from today in the name of jesus enter a strange dimension of results hallelujah i'm praying for people here who are trusting god to give them properties if you have the faith for this prayer watch my god surprise you i decree and declare that between now and half of the year you may not even have up to 1000 naira in your account now but in the name of jesus i put properties in your hands i put properties in your hands let them mock you and see what god can do i put properties in your hands hallelujah paul the apostle was encouraging the the early church and he said now that ye know these things in fact it wasn't just paul i think it was jesus himself he says now that ye know these things happy are ye if you do them now that you know happy are ye if you do them these brothers and sisters as mysterious as satan looks this is the only way he can find expression he's possibilities are finite they are not infinite number one is covenants the strongest access point to satan or to, or of satan into people's lives and then number two we have ignorance and number three disobedience and that's why we are gathered here tonight that god will grant us grace to take advantage of the provisions that have come in christ and end this this buffeting of darkness over our lives and destinies and i pray that it will be someone's testimony tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for you from the depth of my heart that as god begins to touch people he will touch you and end this captivity in your life once and for all is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am Is there anything Too hard for me to do I am that I am Listen I want you tonight To believe God do not come to God carelessly. Listen, the Bible describes the kind of attitude we must have when we come to God. Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith it is impossible to please Him. He said, For he that cometh unto God must come believing, must believe that He is. That means He exists. And then that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So every time you approach God, you don't come to try. Let me find out whether God can touch this cancer. Let me find out whether God can end my captivity. No. You come to him believing. Say, I'm a believer. So tonight, I want you to approach the mighty God, knowing that he's able to do all things. Believe me. You have your requests. You have your needs. Take your eyes away from that infirmity and believe in God. It does not look it can be within the twinkling of an eye and God will change your story it doesn't take him time God is not a carpenter he doesn't build by nailing things he builds by speaking are we together now he called darkness light and it became light I really believe God and I came here tonight trusting that God will touch us it's going to be a very quick walk that's why I'm taking out the time to speak to us. 
very quickly let me just take the altar call now look up please let that be the first miracle tonight let's take the altar call so that as we begin to move and just flow we'll just move in one single sweep there's a lot to do tonight and we want to save time so that we can finish on time I told you that there are three access points of Satan one covenant two ignorance three disobedience are we together John chapter 3 from verse 16 says for God so loved the world he said that he gave his one and only begotten son who is no longer his one and only but the first begotten of we because he has called many of us into glory are we together then he says that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life the thing I love about the faith life is that you are never forced to do anything your response in the kingdom is always a product of revelation and your willingness if you are willing and obedient then you will eat the good of the land there are people seated here right from praise and worship there are so many listening to me the first overflow and all the overflows around there are so many connecting uh, you know on our social media platforms and you're hearing my voice right now and the holy spirit is telling you the man of god is talking to you the first miracle that can happen to you tonight is the miracle of ending the mismanagement of your life by trying to run it your own way are we together that you hand over your life when you come to jesus you don't just come and accept him in your heart you take your heart and say lord i give you everything not i give you my spiritual life i hand over my entire life to you everything i've been through use it for your glory lord i offer my life to you everything that's true repentance that as you come here you are not just coming because you are feeling guilty you are coming here sincerely saying i'm tired of mismanaging my life there's got to be more than this there's got to be more than living my life the way i want i must come under authority and i know there are so many people inside and outside hearing my voice some of you have never made this decision to make jesus lord of your life you've made a decision to go to church you've made a decision to join a religion called christianity but you have not made a true decision to surrender everything and there are people there's another category i'll call all by uh, at, at once so that we'll save time there are those who at one point you truly made a genuine decision but the cares of this life the challenges in your life just overwhelmed you and right now you know that as it is right now as it is right now you cannot say things are all right between you and god you've backslidden you've you've turned away but the bible says if my people who are called by my name it says shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then it says then we lie here from heaven and will forgive their sin and then will heal their land forgiveness will always follow healing are we together i'm going to make an altar call right now any of the overflows outside inside here very fast i'll count one to ten listen there are people the holy ghost is speaking to and you know that you need to make your ways right with jesus you're saying lord things are happening in my family i do not even know the name of what is going in my family the first key is to surrender your all to sacrifice everything before his throne and say lord i'm not just coming to receive healing i'm coming to start a new life it's called zoe god's very life not another kind the very life of god hallelujah 
praise the lord before i make the altar call i want us to all close our eyes and pray in one minute intercede for those who are about to come and say lord no power will stop them from coming no power will stop them from coming we believe in the salvation of souls this is not a cinema where we are watching football this is a place where god is changing lives and destinies pray as you are praying for many of you the lord is going to be speaking to you right now there are so many outside in all the overflows it's like you've been waiting for a man to call you and say return home he's calling you he's calling you hallelujah now i'm going to count one to ten wherever you are please i'd like us to begin to celebrate them outside inside don't wait for others you are returning to christ and you are making this decision for the first time leave your seat and make your way quickly one we we'll count one to ten don't wait for anybody god bless you they are coming two please clear the way for them outside don't let no friends stop you jesus is calling you no 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 you are doing you are doing a very noble thing don't let any friend please encourage them outside if you came with anyone don't stop them from coming out god will punish you if you stop anybody from coming out because he's your friend it's, it's, it's an entirely um it's a personal affair god bless you keep coming koinonia a sacrifice of your uploads to motivate them and encourage them son of God I believe in you I believe in you keep coming Jesus son of God I believe in you I believe in you hallelujah the Lord is still speaking to me that there are people you need to make your ways right with God in fact the Lord is showing me at least three ladies you've not prayed like for the last two months because you are asking what I have done will the Lord really really open up himself to me and the Lord is saying you should make your way to the front clear the way for them please clear the way I don't care whether you are a pastor you are a prophet make your way to the front this is serious business I believe there are still people outside in the overflows the first the second overflow and across the road please make your way to the front we are going to wait for you one more minute we're going to wait for you we're going to wait for you please don't play games with God tonight this is your destiny he wants to bless you he says for I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord Jeremiah 29 11 he says thoughts of peace thoughts of good and not of evil bring you a future and an expected end I believe in you I believe in you let's all sing this song one more time and then we'll pray for them Jesus Son of God I believe hallelujah i sincerely want to appreciate us young and old we are all here to receive jesus christ look at me please if i if i give you a new phone you don't accept it as though you are embarrassed you accept it with gratitude salvation is greater than any other thing you will be receiving tonight are we together and so i want you to be very proud of what you are doing whether you have been restored or you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Just make sure you are not reciting a poem. Make sure this is from the depth of your heart. Are we together? Lift your right hand high to the heavens and say this after me. I'm just guiding you. But the most important thing is the sincerity of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. 
I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that He died for me. I believe that He rose again for my justification. Tonight, I make Jesus my Savior, my Lord. I hand over my life and my destiny to your care and I ask that you be my Lord my God my King forever from today the hold of sin the hold of the flesh over my life comes to an end this is a new beginning in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted as I pray for you father you see these hands lifted they have made genuine sincere commitments I pray that the Spirit of God that is our seal of redemption will be a witness to this spiritual transaction and I pray in the name of Jesus that from tonight let there be a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a new beginning for every one of us no going back to the world no going back to the flesh by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ I pray amen and amen a big congratulations to all of you this is the best decision you would have made in your entire life hallelujah now I like you to follow okay this way we're going to follow um, the ushers as they lead you there'll be a group of people to have your names your details and we'll follow you up they'll be very brief so that you come back and join us um, please be very fast with them because we're about to get up to the ministrations right away god bless you thank you for this great decision let's honor them koinonia bless them bless them Let's honor them as they go. Please rise up on your feet. We are going to pray for a few minutes. Hallelujah. We are about to pray for a few minutes. And I want our hearts to be open. Let's participate in the prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. When we pray, hear me, when we pray, we authorize heaven to step into our lives. Are we together? This is a miracle service and I want us to pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, please media help us. We're about to pray. We're about to pray. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. It says, call on to me and I will answer. Call on to me and I will answer. He says, and I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call on to me. You see, prayer is a sign of humility because it's an indication that there is so much I do not know and there is so much I cannot do. Are we together? Prayer is a sign of humility. When you call on God to step into your life, it is because you acknowledge that he is able. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, I know you are able. Lift your voice. Come on, pray, pray, pray. We are praying, please. Open your mouth and pray. Lord, I believe you are able. That's why I'm here tonight. I believe you are able to heal that cancer, to heal that HIV. Lord, I believe that you are able to give me a new story. I acknowledge you, I recognize you as the mighty God. You are the mighty God, the great I am. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. He is the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I declare that every force tying down my life tying down my destiny tying down my progress you come under arrest tonight lift your voice and begin to pray oh come on koinonia you pray every force Oh, you come under arrest tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I set before you this day blessing and cursing, life and death. But he says, I advise you, choose life so that you and your family will live. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. I make a decision. Tonight, I make a choice. Tonight, that I must leave this place free. I'd like you to open your mouth and mention the challenges that brought you here and say, I am determined. I make a decision. I make a decision. I make a decision. I make a decision. Make a decision. Are you praying? Shabara katalaba, ambra katalakata. I make a decision. I make a decision. Please pray. Make sure you are praying. I make a decision. I must walk out of here healed tonight. I must walk out of here changed tonight. Hallelujah. Self time in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. Every covenant orchestrated by darkness to keep me limited in life, to keep my family limited in life. Tonight, I declare that this is my night of victory. Lift your voice and cry, cry, cry. Cry unto the God of your salvation. They must be broken. They must be broken. 
and contend by, contend by faith and I contend by faith Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. I'd like you to pray and say, Every area that is not working, say it every area in my life that is not producing results. To now, you come under the influence of the anointing. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Your finances may not be working. Your spiritual life may be working. you are praying your to a new dimension of grace. Shaba karada bala da 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 ba. Kali, we declare your majesty. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to the instruction the Lord is giving me. Please listen. Let's walk together, guys. Please, let's walk together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to shout three times. Listen. Hallelujah. Because what I see in the realm of the spirit is like I'm standing on top of this building and I'm seeing like a pot boiling but it's about to tilt. That's what I'm saying. And the Lord is telling me that at the third shout, we are going to shout once, shout two, by the third shout listen the first thing that will happen by the time we take that third shout there will be such an explosion of the power of god a mighty deliverance anointing and that's how we're going to start off tonight are we together it's called a healer it's a mystery it's a mystery that crumbles walls When they went round the walls of Jericho, they shouted. The instrumentalists, everybody together. Hallelujah. Just be stupid enough to obey this instruction. And watch the God of wonders do mighty things in your life. You are shouting pain away. You are shouting sickness away. You are shouting captivity away. Hallelujah. My goodness, I'm telling you, the power of God is so strong in this place. Mighty, 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 mighty. I'm going to count three. When I count three, listen, I want you to shout from the depth of your heart. Hallelujah. And then the second time we are going to shout listen as surely as the God of heaven lives by the third shout in the name of the Lord God whose I am and who has sent me the wonders that will happen in your life by this third shout is a mystery brothers and sisters how God operates are you ready one Two, three.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, all those under the anointing, just bring them out. But really, it's from the third time. Are you ready for number two? We're shouting powers out of men's destinies. We're shouting thrones, dominions that have tied down the lives of men. Are you ready? One, two, three. Hallelujah. Now be sensitive. Oh, I feel it on me. Here it comes. That grace. That unction. That grace. That unction. By the third shout, hear me. Angels will begin to move in dramatic ways. There will be an eruption of the power of God inside and outside. Are you ready? I make a decree in the realm of the spirit and i pray according to the word of the lord as we make this shout i command thrones i command dominions i command altars and everything tying the destinies of men to give way in the name of the lord jesus are you ready now one ah, yeah, 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 yeah. two three Go ahead. Go ahead. Get Bring them out. Shake up Arada. Mighty things happening to men already. I tell you, it's like volcano. That's what I see in the spirit. Falling on people. Falling on people. You remain. of the prophetic the mantle of the prophetic 21 people that's what I see 21 people right now oh God in the name of Jesus wherever they are at the count of three let that mantle fall on them 21 one two three take it take it take it new wine take it Prophetic mantle. Prophetic mantle. Prophetic mantle. I call it salt. I call it salt. I call it salt. Mantles. Twenty one people. Stepping into prophetic anointings by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I activate it. I activate it. I activate it. I stand under this apostolic anointing. I activate it.
Hallelujah. Please help us technical, please. More sound on my mic, please. I'm seen in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seen in the realm of the spirit. So many people having their hands tied with chains. That's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Chains. This is a spirit of limitation. Lift your hands, everyone. I want to take authority over this spirit. Wherever you are, inside and outside, I'd like you to get ready. If you are in this category, something will happen to you. Let the sword of the spirit part those chains open. Are you ready? I command the chains be broken now. 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 There's a family God is liberating. A whole family. They are here. I'm seeing God touch them right now giving them miracles hallelujah lift your voice in one minute and say Lord speak to me speak to me send a word that will bring me hope send a word yeah, na, 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 na. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm hearing the name Memuna. Have to rush i'm hearing the name memuna is there someone with that name here memuna that's what i'm hearing memuna outside who is that memuna you are outside who is that come look at me where are you coming from huh I'm looking at you listen look at me you just came from somewhere here huh is there a, a mic I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you enter transport and you are coming from Abuja to come here where did you come from from Abuja, from Abuja that's where you are coming because I look in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing you in a car and you came and I'm seeing you praying and asking God to visit you and visit your family is that why you are here yes. your family you were saying if only you come here god will visit your family and god is saying he's bringing a breakthrough to memuna and her family in the name of the lord jesus christ i break that curse over your family by the power of the holy ghost it lives forever lift your hands and give jesus praise lift your hands and give jesus praise lift your hands and give jesus praise look at me Please call the lady again. My dear, where is your mother? Uh, what's she doing? She's at home. Uh, She's a civil servant. She's a civil servant. We have to pray because the devil wants to put sickness. She's complaining of pains in her body. She went to the hospital. Uh, she may not have told you. She went to the hospital last week and they said she should be careful because she's having problems with her back. Yes. Is that true? Yes. That's what the doctor said that she's having problem with her back. Yes. This is witchcraft. It's not just pain like that. Your mother cannot even watch for 10 minutes. Her yes. back will start paining yes. her. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for mama right now wherever she is. Let there be a supernatural miracle for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Madam, can I talk to you please? Yes, that madam that one with um, yes please make sure you are praying God is touching people we just want to be fast I wish we had time no 
no, no, you don't have to kneel down. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? From Jigawa, Jigawa State. Jigawa State. Yes. I'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a woman who has gone through pain and she's crying. And I'm wondering why are you going through all of this? Uh, some of them, I may not be able to say it here, but you were invited here. I'm with my sister. That's what I'm saying. Where is she? I'm seeing two people. Where is the sister? Come. Come and stand. Hold on. I'm hearing the Lord speak to me and saying there are two other people. Yes. There are two other people again yes. that you came with aside from you. Where are they? they, are, they are. Where are they? Two other people. Where are they? Please come and stand. I want to announce to you, all of you, that God will give you a testimony tonight that will surprise you. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe me. The things I see, I may not be able to tell you right now. Because um, one of you has a problem with your husband. I don't want to go into... Hold on. I, should I talk? Do you want me to talk? Calm down. Let me talk to you. You cannot. Let me talk. Madam, please look at me. Your husband needs deliverance. You believe what I'm saying? You love God. You are a sincere woman. But your husband needs deliverance. Huh? Where is he? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a woman crying. A man coming to vomit. Huh? Like I'm a vomit from drunkenness. And then this thing is telling on you. Huh? Are you a Christian? You love the Lord. I'm seeing you praying for this woman. Yes. Huh? Yes. That's yes, why I like asked her, you, how do I know you are wearing something? I'm seeing you praying for her. Yes, In fact, sir. even when you stood there, you are saying that God should locate this woman yes, and sir. bless her. Yes, I'm hearing sir. your prayers. The Lord is ministering it to me and he's saying you should bless her. And the Lord God of heaven is saying he's going to bless her and bless you too. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Will you believe what I tell you? Why am I seeing you in a wedding gown? Are you married? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you in a wedding gown. Listen to me very carefully. And I'm seeing two men standing. Hold on. I'm seeing one man and I'm seeing another man. Yes, and the man is saying he married before this one. Yes. He comes to you in a dream. Yes, is that sir. true? Yes, sir. This man I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Tell me the truth. Now don't be embarrassed. Yes, this has affected your marriage. Stand up. It's time to deliver you. Because I'm seeing you get married and I'm seeing two men. Your real husband and another one in the realm of the spirit. He comes to you in a dream. But the Lord is saying I should set you free. Elohim, you reign. You reign. You reign. is showing me a lady you left the hospital this morning your mother is in the hospital it's part of the reasons why you came here please who is that your mother you left her in the hospital and you came here please when you get that person let me pray for her because God wants to do a miracle I want to pray for you the Bible says what God has joined let no man put asunder God did not join you on any spirit entity and he's going to deliver you in the name of Jesus be free let her go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I speak to you by the power of the Holy Spirit madam please look at me your husband needs deliverance his own money finishes on friend and friends and beer is that true is that true, it's true. because I'm seeing him not only drink but buying for his friends and they finish the entire money you are a very kind woman no. but the truth is he's not giving you even one naira you don't even get money from him but the lord is going to be changing things now let me tell you how it will change it will look as if it's getting worse but you watch and see what god is going to be doing 
you believe that yes i'm going to pray for you father in the name of jesus christ let there be a miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle a supernatural miracle there is a woman from katsina there is a woman from katsina a woman from katsina that's what i'm seeing a woman you are outside you didn't cover your hair you are from katsina where is that person is there someone like that please where is that person why are you clapping where's the person please come from katsina look at me stand up stand up madam stand up your time of breakthrough has come look at me the lord is saying i should quote a scripture for you when the lord again shall turn your captivity he says you'll be like them that did madam you have cried enough in this miracle service the god of heaven is about to wipe your tears mary mary who is mary 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 i know there are many marys hold on please hold on let me call the mary the mary is in this row mary you are seated here no 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 at the back you are wearing a dark cloth right here you didn't cover your head the mary is in not like i don't know if it's a dark cloth like it has flower it's a gown it's a gown straight down gown not gown with skirt is there someone like that mary this row the angel of the lord is said is it a gown or someone i'm seeing something with flower is there someone like that please find out mary i need to talk to that person i need to talk to that person you're the one okay welcome i'll talk to you Madam, where are you from? I'm from Akwaibo. You are from Akwaibo? I just stayed in Katsina. And are you married? Yes. Where is your husband? He's in Katsina. I have to pray for you. God wants to give you breakthrough. My goodness, lift your hands. I'm telling you, I just saw like a wind and the Lord said they are angels. Watch what happens in the congregation right now. Angels, 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 angels bringing impartation to people. I just saw like a wind in the spirit. Angels cutting away things. That's what I'm seeing. Angels cutting away things from people. They are removing things in people's bodies. That's what I see. Like a slimy substance leaving people. This is breakthrough, breakthrough. God is giving people breakthrough. Hallelujah. Ma, let me pray for you. What do you do, ma? Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm looking at this woman. Don't be afraid. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm looking at you. Where is Kasham? I'm looking at you, ma. And I'm seeing her name on your head. And I was wondering, and the Lord, no, 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 no. Hold on. Come. Come. I'm looking at this woman and, and I'm seeing the name of this lady, Kasham, on her head. And I thought your name is Kasham, but the Lord told me it's not Kasham. The, what she's practicing is what you are now. What, what are you doing? I'm a nurse. What are you doing? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. That's what God is telling me. Because I'm looking at you and I saw her name written on your head. And the Lord said I should call her and make... See, this is not diabolic. Hosea chapter 12. It says, I have spoken to you by the prophet. I have multiplied visions. He said, I have spoken to you in similitudes. This is not jamboree. We have a lot of things to do. God is locating people and when he's doing it for one, he's doing it for many people. Time will not allow for everybody to be called, but I just want you to believe. Believe in what God is doing. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's, that's, the, that's the only reason why you are here. Ma, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord promoting you and lifting you. You believe that? If God grants grace, you will return and testify. Hold my hands, ma. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God of heaven promote you and lift you right now in the name of Jesus. Ma, I want to pray for you. Where are you from, please? I'm from Anambra, but I'm from Jigawa. I want to pray for you. What do you do? Nurse. I'm a nurse. You are a nurse too. Yes. I want to pray for you. 
the devil wants to put sickness in your body and this is not a nice this is not something i will even say the devil wants to put it in your body but will take authority over it right now please hold my hands man in the name of jesus lord he will fortify her i, I command that spirit to leave you right now out the devil wants to put sickness in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Ma, look at me. The pain is living and you are going free. You have cried. I have, I'm seeing a woman who has cried. But God is stepping in. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus. Lord, the grace that makes things happen. May that grace bring this woman out of pain. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you. Come, stand here. I want to pray. There's bad luck in your family. Huh? Serious bad luck. Where's your father? Quara State. Quara State. I'm seeing a man in Quara State just going around in circles, not even doing anything meaningful. We have to pray. It's one thing to move physically, but it's another thing for your life to move too. Huh? And I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus. Please be very serious with the Lord. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Emeka. Emeka, I'm hearing the name of someone, Emeka. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be a miracle for you. Let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus, Emeka, the Lord is ministering to me. I'm hearing the name of someone, Emeka. The Lord is giving you a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, Emeka, you are outside. I'm seeing two Emeka coming and tell you, I see like a scream. One, you have beard. One, you are wearing white. Hello, King. You reign. You reign. You reign. Hello, King. You reign. I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. Don't be, I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm seeing the spirit of death on you. The devil wants to destroy your life. We have to pray for you. Sir, look at me. What do you do? You are a student. I'm going to pray for you. You love Jesus and the hand of God is upon your life. Huh? It's not just an ambition for business, but the anointing of God is in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sir, I need to pray for you. I need to pray for you and destroy something that wants to kill you. Huh? So it's just a simple prayer. I'll pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not, I'm, we're not prophesying doom. You get what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that thing to leave you. In the name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness, it leaves you right now. Sir, hold my hands. I pray that the anointing of the Spirit will come upon your life right now. Step into a new level of grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's not by power, it's not by might. I bring an anointing to your life that takes you to a new dimension. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is a lady who is going to shout under the anointing. Just carry her like that and bring her to me. There is a word. No, it's inside here, it's not outside. Right here, carry her like that and bring her. It's a message. Just carry her like that and bring her. this is what i see in the realm of the spirit as she's lying down like this that's what i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit and i'm hearing ezekiel 2 verse 2 it says and the spirit entered me and set me upon my feet the lord is bringing not just deliverance to you and your family but the lord is bringing i'm hearing the word restoration and the lord is saying i should prophesy to you receive it in the name of jesus it comes upon you by the power of the holy spirit please bring this lady for me just just carry her carefully if she can please lift your voice and pray and say lord visit me in the name of the lord jesus christ I break every hole you have with her life in the name of Jesus 
I'm looking at a lady in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a spirit wearing a crown and the Lord is saying he's removing that crown that's what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit this is a lady who loves God but I see her connected to things that have to do with marine powers and I'm seeing the lady with a crown and the Lord is taking it in the name of Jesus Christ I command freedom right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I command freedom right now be free go let her go now by the blood of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands I want to pray before we pray for the sick there's something the Lord is showing me please I like you to lift your hands just do what I'm asking you to do lift your hands the power of God is going to come on certain people I'm seeing deliverance in families this is not just you you are standing for your loved ones I'm seeing mighty deliverance is happening in families and the Lord is saying one more time we should shout that name Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus as we shout Jesus I like you to shout all your heart at the count of three the moment you do that I see deliverance coming to families and what they could not do in many years will be done within one month what they could not do in many years will be done within one month in the name of Jesus one two three right now deliverance 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 shakataba families I command it inside and outside inside and outside deliverance what could not be done in 10 years in 10 years it will be done in one month what could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month what could not be done in 10 years will be done in one month hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus every door stopping me from entering the next level right now I command that door broken lift your voice and begin to pray pray yourself to the next dimension doors are opening pray inside and outside doors are opening doors are opening doors are opening Hallelujah. 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 Listen, many of you may not understand what is happening in the realm of the spirit, but you see, the presence of God is where change happens in the life of men. Just like this, you will walk out and you will see things happen in your life. Just like this. There are chains that tie men. There are chains that hold down destinies. There are chains. Please bring this lady for me. Yes, this lady. Just this very lady. Just bring her. I give the chains for me. Hey, hey, hey. I give the chains. I give the chains. I give the chains. I give the chains. I hear the chains, I hear the chains There is power in the name of Jesus Deliverance is coming for you There is power in the name of Jesus There is power Shit, I'm a rat, 
Hallelujah. Uh, me, the Lord is giving me a word. I saw an eagle flying, and the eagle came and entered you. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you, He's restoring to you the spirit of prophecy. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. He's restoring to you. I saw an eagle fly and it entered you. And the Lord is saying he's restoring the spirit of prophecy. 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 Hallelujah. I'm looking in the spirit and I'm seeing people carry load. And God is saying I should bring down that load. Lift your hands. Lord, where are they? Carrying loads that do not belong to them. Right now, at the count of three, let that load come off you. Right now, one, two, three. Right now, right now, right now. Anyone carrying any load. Every 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 load that is not of God, every load that is not of God, every load that is not of God must leave you, must leave you, must leave you, must leave you. Must leave you. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Before we are going to be very fast, hallelujah. I was walking and the Lord said I should go back. Praise the Lord. Please don't mind me. Just allow me to do what the Lord is saying. And the Lord is saying I should walk right here. Outside. Right and go outside. Please hear me. And the Lord is saying as I walk. For every road that I pass. If there is a spirit holding your destiny. It must leave you. Please believe me. Sheka Karababa. I lift my hands right now right now as i'm passing the anointing of the spirit is touching people destroying yokes destroying yokes destroying yokes right now destroying yokes from my left and my right destroying yokes any spirit tying down any man's destiny right now 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 right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit. Every spirit. Now listen to me. Those outside. Don't be afraid. It will not rain. But watch this. Lift your hands. I'm going to walk this way. And the power of the Holy Ghost. You are enduring this rain as I walk through. Any spirit tie your life must give way right now. Are you ready? Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I release everybody from bondage. 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 Right now. I stretch my hands. I stretch my hands. I stretch my hands. Right now. I stretch my hands. I stand by an anointing as I pass your robe. Any devil tie you. We let you go right now. As I pass your road, as I as I as I pass your road, as I pass your road now, right? Responsible for your limitation, you are enduring the rain. You cannot go back the same. I came out to join you. Hallelujah! Please make sure you pray. I'm moving around. We're going to pray for you. Please lift your hands. Make sure you are praying. 
There's no spirit that will stand. Hallelujah. As many who can come in, don't worry. Just push them in. I know it will be a bit stuffy, but push as many people everywhere and let's pray. We have to hurry up. Just push them as many. There are some who may not be able to do much, but then we are praying. We are praying. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every power holding me. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every power holding my breakthrough. Tonight, your time is up. Go, 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 go. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Every power, every force, Hallelujah. Now, hold on. I know that there are so many people coming in. Just give them room to come in. Just make every adjustment. Not all may be able to come in. But it's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. We want to pray for the sick now. Now, please be careful so we don't have people marching on people. Hallelujah. We are going to do two things at the same time. All those who came trusting God for healing, now is your time. Please walk with the protocol, walk with the ushers. I'm going to ask you to come out and stand here. Don't match the people in front. While they are doing that, ushers, begin to pass your prayer request. Begin to pass your prayer request. There are miracles. In the name of Jesus There are breakthroughs In the name of Jesus There is healing In the name of Jesus To break every chain Break every chain Break every chain. Power to break every chain. Break every chain. I sense a strong healing anointing. A strong healing anointing entering this building. Break every chain. 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 hallelujah now we're going to minister to the sick please hear me no matter what the situation is as you stand right here i want you to believe god for healing you've heard the testimonies of people you've seen the things that god is doing in this place don't make the place rowdy just be orderly as we pray for you just a touch and you return back we may not have the time to take testimonies hallelujah please say Jimmy you will join me where's pastor Jakes I'm glad to have them around and they'll make this work easy the anointed people as we pray for you I want you to believe God for healing the moment you are prayed for as you walk back to your seat do what you couldn't do before don't just sit down and hope you are healed the Bible says they came to hear and to be healed they came to hear and to be healed. Everyone lift your hands in one minute and pray and say every sickness in my body is time for you to go. Every incurable disease. Go ahead and pray. Every incurable disease. You are living. Hallelujah. Worship team, you help us while we minister Pastor Jake's. Jimmy, please. 
We are going to pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to believe in the God that heals. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Don't just be whiling away time. Drop your prayer request and be praying. Pray in the Spirit. And say, Lord, you are going to visit me. So that you don't go back and return the same hallelujah before i pray I, I want if you can rise please rise those on, under the anointing that's all right and then mothers with children that's all right but the rest of us please let's rise and take this very seriously we're going to be praying right now when pastor jakes and Ejimi are done they can come and join us we'll pray pastor godwin where are you please can you come and join us um we're going to pray i'd like you to stretch your hands here and in one minute pray like your life depends on it and say the same way i have dropped this that's how i've dropped every challenge in my life i'd like you to pray please pray koinonia open your mouth inside outside online please join us we're going to lay our hands prophetically on this request as we lay our hands on them we are releasing the power of god to every home to every territory in the name of the lord jesus make sure you pray from the depth of your heart father we agree with you we agree with you all kinds of miracles impossible situations Make sure you are praying. There is a God that answers prayers. Let fire fall on this request to God. Shakata prakata kata kata rekata kata 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 bosh. Maprakata prosoto bosh. Elekata prakata pere koto soprata kata bala bala bala. Manta shata taka taka rada bala bala bosh. Pray, prophesy. We are speaking over this request. Wipe the tears of people, oh God. Visit individuals. Visit families. Strange miracles. Strange miracles.
They looked unto you and they were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Shame is taken away. Totally and completely. Ah, the embargo is lifted. Ah, I hear God saying, affliction shall not arise again the second time. It is done. It is done, says the Spirit of God. It is done. Oh, glory be to God. Go ahead and rejoice and give God praise. Hallelujah. 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 Please lift your hands and receive the prophecy. This is where God is going to be changing lives. Hallelujah. Your destiny can change overnight because one word was received. Prophecy does not only reveal, it creates. This is where everybody gets to participate in the service. Take it higher, guys. Inside, outside. This is where I want you to believe. You will rise in his name. I don't know. You reign in You will rise in your name. ago I had a very serious encounter with God and the Lord told me something he said I have put my word in your mouth as you speak it I will make it happen that's what the Lord told me please I want you to believe it oh blessed is she that believes don't sit down and doubt and waste your time there is a spiritual dimension to life it's not just I have taught you principles Believe me when I tell you there is a spiritual dimension. Gates and doors over the lives and the destinies of men. I pray. Every gate that must be opened right now I speak to you Efata, be open now. 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 That chain tying any man's destiny tying the speed of your progress you are moving but you are not making impact right now I release upon you an auction for speed an auction take it an auction for speed an auction for speed the Bible says, and the hand of the Lord, please help them. The hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He gathered his loins and ran on barefoot. He overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I don't know what you have done from January to now, but I prophesy from now till the end of June, do what you have not done in five years. Shake it, 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 it. Do what you have not done in five years. Do what you have not done in five years. Hallelujah. 
Jacob dug a well and they covered it. They dug another one, they covered it. They dug the third one and they left it and they called it Rehoboth. They said, God has given us our space. Where you have been begging for relevance, it's like there is no place for you in life. It's like there is no place. I stand under this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Take your place in life. Take your place in destiny. Take your place in ministry. Take your place in destiny. Take your place in ministry. Ayayayaya. Ay, ay, ay. Whatever has covered your glory, whatever has covered your glory, I stand tonight. I invoke the powers of the heavens and I command, let your glory be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Anyone here called jobless? between now and the next two months I don't care what is the reason but I pray as surely as the God of heaven lives we give you a job here now we give you a job here now we give you a job here now it says to appoint unto them that morning Zion listen there are some of us you are making progress but no help in your life you fight for everything by yourself you pay for everything by yourself when you are in trouble there's nobody to speak for you at the gate where are your helpers who stopped them from entering your life who said it must be this hard i go down on my knees i call your helpers by prophecy in the name of jesus from the north to the south to the east to the west from the north to the south to the east to the west from the north to the south to the east to the west receive of their ministry listen let me tell you there is nothing more tragic as having no helper no man can stand alone you need voices to speak to you at the gates of destiny. You need men to endorse you and say, help him. You can't have to explain yourself to everybody. Who is speaking for you? I pray again. Whoever must appear in your life from now till June, business helpers, financial helpers, marital helpers, Career help us. I call you forth. I call you forth. Hallelujah. Listen, lift your hands. There are some of you, your dreams and visions used to be opportunities for intense revelation where God will show you secrets. It made your life easy till something shuts you from visions and dreams. I pray. Every dead dream life, every dead manifestation of visions, like a mantle, receive restoration now. Restoration of dreams, prophetic dreams, visions, prophetic vision. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands towards me. Please stretch your hands towards me. The hands of a man represent your responsibility, represents your wisdom, represents your agency for bread. I pray for you. Whatever has mocked the creativity of your hands so that your potentials are underutilized. Isaiah 48 verse 17. I am the Lord that teaches thy hands to profit. I pray the grace that makes your hand productive. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. 
the grace that makes your hand multiply. Take it now. Everything called barren in your destiny. Physical barrenness, spiritual barrenness, academic barrenness, career barrenness. Right now, I cause the spirit of barrenness from its root and I command be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful hallelujah lift your hands in the next one minute I want us to pray because everyone will receive something listen listen what we're all receiving is an upgrade of grace listen he said grace be multiplied grace and peace be multiplied the grace upon a man's life can multiply should multiply must multiply there are three things that happen to you when god lifts you one he multiplies your grace two he adds to your responsibility three he increases your territory of influence both spiritually and physically i pray for you lift your hands some of us you have not backslidden but you've not risen beyond certain levels you have stayed there at a level everything that is alive grows please i want you to receive i told you this meeting will have impartations the impartation is not falling on the ground and rolling impartation is receiving something tangible in your spirit hallelujah Paul said I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift he said to the end that he be established I pray for you lift your hands every grace that is dormant in your life every grace that is useful but it has stayed at a level and is made no matter how you try to rise it stands there in the name of Jesus by the privilege of the apostolic office I pray for you may that grace be upgraded now shake it receive it receive it take it an upgrade of favor an upgrade of wisdom an upgrade of power fire power fire fire prayer fire what fire prayer fire what fire an upgrade of supernatural wisdom an upgrade of access access to men of influence I pray for you listen what your current level of grace could not bring you into I empower you to go back and conquer that realm oh let me repeat what I'm saying there are levels in life and there are graces that are like keys you can get to a level and be stuck there no matter what kind of deliverance you can stay there because graces are like flights they can take you beyond certain levels some of us just need a little upgrade to overcome the obstacles you have tried prayer has brought you so far i pray for you whatever dimension must be added so that you can fly like the eagle that you are receive that dimension now receive that dimension now receive that dimension now hallelujah the bible says and you shall be called with a new name which the mouth of the lord shall speak it says you shall be called hefziba and Pula, a well desired land i pray for you everything that makes people run away from you they plan to help you but when they come they change their mind they plan to bless you but when they see you they consider what they are about to sow there is a spirit that cut short breakthroughs I pray for you in the name of Jesus I pray the blessing that was prophesied 
he said to Jacob the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed that aura that attracts favor receive it right now receive it right now whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may that prayer be answered let me say it again whoever vowed and said it is through his dead body you will rise i said may that prayer be answered listen the bible says in five things the lord will deliver you he said yes six he will deliver you from the scourging tongues of men it was a revelation that was given job that men stay and use their tongues to trap the destinies of men i pray for you whoever has used his tongue like a net to trap your life i release you right now i release you right now i release you right now hallelujah the kind of finances your hands has not touched i pray for you between now and the end of this month may god do something that must bring tears from your eyes may god do something that must bring tears from your eyes may god do something that must bring tears from your eyes anyone here marked for death that death is eyeing you waiting for the day you will get on the road waiting for the day a bike will come close to you to kill you and take your life i pray for you in the name of jesus we forbid the earth from receiving your body we forbid the earth from receiving your body there are five elements i'm rounding up that are the conduits through which the supernatural finds expression on earth five elements all through scripture the supernatural cannot manifest on earth without the instrumentality of these five elements number one is light god is light the entrance of thy word give it light let there be light number two water the fish and the birds of the air in genesis came out of water water represents abundance number three fire hallelujah it's a mysterious instrument not threatened by any other element yet refines every other number four wind the mystery of sound the mystery that takes sounds and realities he said i prophesied as i was commanded and there was a sound that sound came back in acts chapter 2 a sound hallelujah and the last element is the earth the prophet said O earth hear ye the word of the lord he said for from dust thou art and to dust thou shalt return hear me i want to pray just one deep mystery for you the earth is a universal point of contact every man makes contact with it for you to be alive you must make contact with the earth your feet must touch the ground your helper's feet is touching this ground you are touching. No, 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 no. It's not amen. It's a mystery. The office where you are to be employed is on this ground. It's not in the air. Hear me, please. The bank that holds the favor you are looking for has contact with this earth. And the prophet said, O oh, earth, you are a living thing. You are not just stones. Hallelujah. Are we together? Hmm. It says they will not be able to oppress you because you have made a covenant with the stones. I pray for you. Whoever wants to disfavor you, just like the stars fought for Deborah, may the earth fight for you. May the earth fight for you. Quarter to shame. May a mystery manifest that you don't understand to bail you out. Listen, when men say, let's see what will become of him, I pray a mystery, my goodness, another way, may God bring another mystery and deliver you in the name of Jesus. The 
heat and the turmoil in Nigeria. We love our nation. We pray for them. And we pray sincerely out of a sense of nationhood. But I pray for you. The mystery of exemption that can exempt a man. It says for when men say there is a casting down. For you, you will say there is a lifting up. I prophesy a lifting up. Regardless of the recession, this is still your year of multiplied grace. And growth. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give God thanks. Thank him sincerely. Lord, we thank you for your word. Listen, I want you to go back realizing what happened to you. Don't be like the man who looks at himself at the mirror and leaves and forgets. These prophecies have come upon you like a mantle. You enforce them in the place of prayer. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. For watching in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain